Hey guys, Zom Fox here, and today we're going to be talking about Sage Surratt, who is going to the NFL. I made a video a long time ago about how I thought he was going to be great in the USFL. He was solid in the games he played in, but the bottom line is, he is going to the NFL. He is the wide receiver turned tight end, who is a champion in the USFL. He only caught 11 passes overall in the USFL, but he caught him for 148 yards. He did play a bit in the playoffs. He was picked in that supplemental draft, but yeah, I mean, he was a very solid tight end when he did play, and I think they should have given him a chance earlier on, and he would have helped that team even more, but hey, you know what? Whatever. As for the Chargers, not looking too good for him, because, well, you see Gerald Everett, starter, he's a solid player. Donald Parham, very solid. Trey McKitty and Hunter, Cam Moyer, not as much, but thing is with this team is they're probably going to be a very pass-heavy team. Especially when your running back is one of the best, if not the best, dual threat running back in the league in Austin Eckler. I think, as of right now, he probably is the best since McCaff injury is going to play maybe two games and Kamara suspended the first part of the season. As for the depth chart, Hunter, their fourth stringer, he hasn't played in that one year he was in there, so he could definitely overtake him. Trey McKitty, he was a third round pick by him last year. So the other two guys who are still here have been above him already. But considering they use a third-round pick on him, they're probably thinking he was going to be someone or going to keep him on this roster. So even though he only had, you know, 45 yards and he started four games, he definitely could be a solid blocker, and that's probably what they're going to use him as a lot, but we'll see. Parham, he's ending into his third season. He's played a decent amount. He's never had 200 yards in a season, but the fact that he's had three touchdowns both years is pretty good, and he's been on their roster for two years now, and he's heading into a third and then their starter is the guy they just got in Gerald Everett. He was the Rams. That's where he was most known for. But he also played in Seattle. He's basically a consistent 400-yard type tight end receiver. He had four touchdowns last year, which is pretty great. Granted, that was with, you know, some backup quarterbacks playing a bit. And as it usually is, backup quarterbacks, you know, go to their tight end a lot. But he still is very solid. And he hasn't been a consistent starter his whole career. So the fact he's had 400 yards is very good. He often does do a rush or two per year too, and he scored a touchdown off that before. And he's pretty safe with the ball. He's only stumbled, fumbled four times in his career. And he was a second round pick back in 2017 for a reason. So I think that for Sage, he could become maybe third string. I think it's more or less how much they value Parham and McKitty as Parham has been there pretty much backup for a couple of years. And then Trey McKitty was a decent high pick. So we'll see. This has been Zom Fox. If you enjoy this content, I'll be notified as soon as I upload any videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, have a great night.